morning. My name is Andres Trujillo. And um, by a show of hands, how many of you listen to music? Do you guys that have any favorite instrument? No? Well, I have to have one recently, which is uh, an interesting guitar you guys can see. down to me by my um, father, which was once owned, it was once owned by my granddad. Um, holding this guitar really helped me get in touch with the Mexican side of my um, family. It helped me get in touch with a little bit of my past generations, get to know them a little bit better, and get to see what they went through and what they had to do in order to get here. First, I will talk about the culture of the guitar and how it was used in the Mexican culture. I also talk about the history of this guitar in particular. And then um, I will inform you of how I, d I identify myself with this. All right, so the, the acoustic guitar has a rich culture um, in the Mexican, with the Mexicans. It's used um, to play in a variety of different music styles like mariachi, serenatas, and conjuntos o norteños. Um, the mariachi um, is, is like a band of, um, of um, different members who each play different instrument, from the acoustic guitar to the trumpet to different vi kinds of violins. And there's popular songs like um, La Cucaracha, I'm pretty sure you guys know that one, La Rey, and um, Mariachi Loco, which is used to play in um, different types of events, from weddings to birthday parties to quinceañeras. Um, Serenatas, on the other hand, um, is when a man takes a guitar or his mariachi and plays outside a woman's window at night and usually tries to show interest in her and try to get her to fall in love with him. And he usually sings and plays like a really good romantic song to her. Um, Conjuntos and Norteños has produced popular acts like Los Tijuanas de, Los Tucanes de Tijuana and Los Tigres del Norte, which incorporated in the acoustic guitar in the group. Um, now we'll talk about how the guitar came to be in my um, family. Well, my grandfather used to work in the um, corn fields picking corn as a living in Mexico. And he lived in a one shack, one bedroom kind of room or house. And he lived with his wife and eight kids, including my dad. And my dad was the only son. So my, grandpa, my grandfather saw this opportunity to buy a guitar and use it as a second living in order to make food to have a better life. And um, so he, he bought the guitar and worked in the rich neighborhoods asking for money. And soon enough, he started um, making, the, making his own mariachi group. And with that money that he saved from that, he was able to move to California and move his whole family over here. For my dad's um, wedding, he gave the guitar as a wedding gift to my dad and also played in the wedding. So now that my dad had it, he used it more as a hobby rather than, a, than an occupation. And for my 20th birthday, which was recently, I got the guitar as a present. I still haven't learned how to play it, to be honest. But I plan to do so as a hobby or any other breaks I have. I plan to really learn and incorporate it into my lifestyle. So I could um, maybe one day, hopefully, pass it down to my firstborn child and keep it in the family for years to come. If it's the next 20 to 30 or 40 years, I really hope to keep this in the family. In conclusion, today we learned how a simple guitar could, could really help you get in touch with your culture and learn about the history behind it. Thank you.